Good morning, good morning. It is awfully windy here this morning, but I am committed to reading the Psalms with you. We are trekking through this. We have been trekking through the Psalms for quite a while. We are now at Psalms 91. Can you believe it? Psalms 91. That means if you have been trekking with us, you have been consistent and steadfast for over a year and a half. That's incredible, that's incredible. If you are just finding out about us, I wanna let you know my name is Gio and I am founder of Unraveled Hearts and you are welcome to join us here each week. I will be reading the Psalms and we will, together will learn something insightful. God always reveals himself. God always shows his heart. He desires to be known and he desires to be sought out. So that's what we do together. Today, Psalms 91, for those of you, Psalms 91 in 2020 became really trendy because everybody was scared and everybody wanted God's protection. We're gonna read through the Psalms. We're gonna know exactly that, you know, who the people are that get this protection and, and what kind of protection God is offering and, and promising here in Psalms 91. If you have walked with God at any point in your life, you have seen the hand of God over you. You have seen his protection. When you are in God's will, there is no safer place to be. I know that if my daughters are called to Saudi Arabia or called to a place where women might not have the rights or women are looked down upon or there could be a a um, a risk of death for them i am not concerned if they are obeying the voice of god if they are following god's will if they are stepping into his will because there's no safer place to be than god's will there have been many times where i have uh, been away from my daughters and i pray earnestly for them um, one particular incident that stands out is I was praying for my daughter who was in college at the time and um, this is Baby Star. Baby Star was with her friends just hanging out by a window. Some guys were playing football out in the yard and they had their window open. The girls were inside and so all of a sudden she says she doesn't know why. I know why. I know that Holy Spirit Holy Spirit was guiding her. I know that Holy Spirit was at work. I know that God's protection was there. She gets up from right next to the window and walks to her room for a bit. Then she hears a loud crash. One of the boys trying to be funny simply uh, tapped the window in, a, I guess, a rough way that the whole window just came crashing down on the girls. They were embedded with glass and um, blood was everywhere and my daughter ran to the noise and she saw she saw that most of the glass most of what had happened had happened right in the spot where she had been at and for some reason in that moment she decides to get up and go to her room I was so thankful that my daughter was not hurt and cut up with glass all over her face I was thankful that God is a God that sees everything that when we can't be with our children 24 seven, that's impossible. But God is a God that is everywhere and he sees all. And you entrust God with your life and with your family. He never fails. He is a God that protects. He is a God that is our refuge. He is a God that moves on our behalf. My daughters were also in a car accident um, years ago. I want to say about almost six, seven years ago. And the car accident was um, tremendous. It actually, the car was completely totaled. My daughters walked away unscathed. Nothing was torn, nothing was cut, nothing was broken. They came out of that vehicle with the protection of God. I remember a woman coming over to me at the time because I was a mess. I couldn't breathe, I didn't know. I saw the vehicle and the way my daughters came out of that, walked away from that should have not happened if, if unless God was in there with them. So, you know, the protection of the Lord over them. So 
at that moment, I was terrified. I didn't know what I was going to see. I didn't know what my heart or mind could handle. At that moment, I couldn't even breathe. And so there was a woman who approached me who I haven't seen before or since. And she shook me by the shoulders and she said, breathe, breathe. Jesus saved your daughters. Jesus saved your kids. And oh my gosh, a true, uh, that's such a true statement that over and over, Jesus saves. Jesus saves. That's what he does. He's an expert at it. So let's go on to Psalms 91. If you have your Bible, please go ahead and get it because, you know, there's something about actually seeing the words on a page that are so, you know, it's just, you're getting it in two different ways and, and it embeds in your spirit. Nevertheless, if you do not have access to your Bible right now, that's okay. Allow the words that I speak just bring comfort to you, just wash your mind, just purify your heart, because that's what the Word of God does. So let me read Psalms 91. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors by night nor the arrow that flies during the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in the darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand may fall at one side, at your side, though 10,000 are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for He will order His angels to protect you wherever you go. Hallelujah. They will hold you up with their hands. Good wind. up with with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone you will trample upon lions and cobras and you will crush the fear lions and serpents under your feet hallelujah the Lord says I will rescue those who love me I will protect those who trust in my name and when they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow, the wind was picking up. Holy Spirit is like the wind. Okay. All right. So. Psalms 91, it's a beautiful psalm, and oh, there we are, <laughs> there we are. Psalms 91 is a beautiful psalm, and many of you know it, especially in 2020 when it was, you know, every, every person who went to church or every person who didn't even go to church, they just saw it on social media, they saw the Psalms 91 on social media and it was trending and it was going viral because everybody wanted that protection. Everybody wanted to believe that, no, 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 nothing's gonna happen to me. God is with me and God's gonna protect us. And they were claiming that Psalms 91. But what do we see in there? What do we read over and over in this Psalm? That those, those who are in the shelter of the Almighty, those who run to the Lord, those who, who have made Him who have made God their God, the one true God in their life. So this protection is not for everyone. I'm sorry to have to break that to you. 
I don't know if you are hidden in the Lord, if you are hiding in the refuge of the Almighty, if you run to Him, if He is your Father, if you have made Him your Lord. Because this protection and this promise is for those that are in the will of God. I just told you there's no safer place to be than in the will of God. When you are in the will of God, He has His feathers around you. He is he, you seek refuge in his wings and it is an incredible thing to be in the hands of a powerful defender God right so I want to encourage you if at this point you say you know what I probably have been claiming or thinking that this psalm is for me and the truth is God is not really God is not really my God. I have not made him Lord of my life. What are you waiting for? This is the moment. Today is the day. He is knocking at your heart. He is saying, return to me. You see, you were at one point, it says he created you in your mother's womb. He knew you before you were even born. At one point, you were in the presence of God. You were in the presence of your creator. And now, he is calling out to you and he is desiring that you come to him, that you make him your refuge. And you can do that just by surrendering your life, by giving God permission, giving him access. God, you have access to any part of my life, whatever you want to do, God. I am here. I can't do it in my own strength. I don't want to live this life on my own with my own intellect and my own understanding i want the author of my life walking next to me and that's what he desires he desires that you come to him and when you come to him he will reveal his plan for you he will show you his will and it is that will that you're walking in and in that will there is protection there is a hedge of protection over you and your family as you pray as you pray for them and God teaches you how to pray. Those of you who have been walking with the Lord, I, I know that you are thankful for Psalms 91. I know that you may need to reread it and just believe that that, believe and just resolve to know that that is the truth for your life. Those of you that have wandered off, that are have walked away from the presence of God, know that you can always return that he waits with open arms there is room for you at the table he desires that you return it's time to come home it's time to come home I love you I pray that this day is a tremendous day of victory of acknowledging who God is in your life and of realizing just how much God has already protected you and how he will continue to do so. Love you and I will see you at the table.